standard entropy. In this video, we're going to define entropy at standard state and calculate the change in entropy at standard state. As we've seen a lot of already, entropy is denoted by an S. If we put a little not superscript, this designates that we are in the standard state. These standard entropies are for a mole of a substance at 298 degrees Kelvin. These are different for different states, allotropes, molecules, or even if it's aqueous. We can look up the standard entropies in many different tables. You can do the back of your book or on the internet. These will always be positive. Be very careful moving forward when you're using these values that you always grab the right state. You'll have four or five of them listed and you need to make sure that you grab the one that you're talking about in your reaction. Since we can look up the values of entropies in tables, we can calculate the exact entropy change by doing products minus reactants. Be sure to multiply the tabulated entropy values by the coefficients, just like what we did when we did delta H quite a while ago. Let's do an example to make this more clear. You may want to take a moment before I even start this example to try it yourself, since it's very similar to how we've done other problems in the past. Here we have a chemical reaction and a small excerpt from a data table. To calculate the change in entropy, we need to do products minus reactants. We need to remember to multiply the coefficients, since these are telling us how many of each product and reactant we have. If you haven't yet, take a moment and do this yourself before moving forward. We need to add up each of the products multiplied by their coefficients. And then we will subtract off each of the reactants multiplied by their coefficients. When we do this, we get our final answer of negative 153.2 joules per Kelvin. Do note that S is typically tabulated in joules, not in kilojoules. And that's going to be something that's very important to notice later on. In this video, we defined standard state entropy and learned that we can use these values to calculate the change in entropy of a chemical reaction. We calculate the total entropy of the products, subtract the entropy of the reactants to get this change. The change may be either positive and negative, though the standard state entropies of each species are always going to be positive. 